one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it, because you can. This story is brought to us from the Galveston Daily News, where police have not yet charged Officer Jared Rivas with any crimes in connection to a fight at an apartment complex pool party during which he was recorded repeatedly punching several people. That's likely because Rivas has argued his use of force was necessary to do his job as a peace officer, said Jay Coons, an assistant professor of criminal justice at Sam Houston State University. Now that argument can hold even though Rivas was off duty out of uniform, and acting on behalf of Island Bay Resort Homes at 7400 Jones Drive, where he lived, said Coons. An apartment manager called Rivas to break up a pool party on June 25th of this year, and an encounter devolved into a physical altercation that ended with two investigations underway and Rivas on paid leave. People. In video, you can see a uniformed Galveston police officer holding a team down. You can hear the blows from an off-duty officer, Jared Rivas, land as the teen cries out in pain. He was hitting, just hitting people. Man walked up with a walkie-talkie and a uh, badge on and said, uh, are y'all residents here? And I was like, no, sir, but we are guests. He said, well, y'all need to get up and leave. Williams claims as they were getting up to leave, Rivas hit one of the moms several times. Rivas then shoved Williams' 13-year-old son to the ground who jumped up and hit Rivas back, resulting in Rivas hitting the 13-year-old again. Williams says that's when the off-duty officer then ran up to her 14-year-old daughter with a closed fist and hit her. You hit kids! You hit kids! Williams says that's when the uniformed cop showed up, holding down the teen, and Rivas started laying down down more punches. Grab him by his head and start pounding on his head. By William's count, at least four people were hit by the off-duty officer. She says her daughter's scalp is swollen and bruised. Her son has a busted lip. Emotionally, they are drained. I don't sleep. My daughter doesn't sleep. My son doesn't sleep. William says she plans to press charges against the officer who she says attacked her family. This quote, the story at first blush is that he was acting in his official capacity and he believed he had authority to act and overcome resistance, said Coons. He goes on, but maybe an investigation will find he is way off base and no force was necessary. That's when you see officers being indicted. Now, Heidi Williams, for a week, has been asking why police haven't arrested Rivas, who she said shoved her 14-year-old son in the incident. <clears throat> she said, uh, or quote, the woman has a legitimate question of why an officer can do this and not be arrested, said Coons from that Sam Houston University. Peace officers in Texas retain law enforcement authority and power to arrest 24-7. It doesn't matter if they're on or off duty. Coons, the specialist or expert, said there's really no distinction. It's not like, whoa, wait a minute, you're off duty, you can't do that. Sure they can, 24-7, they're always cops. It's common practice for officers to take up extra jobs or duties for deals at their apartment complexes. Rivas had a badge and a radio on his hip when he approached the pool party, according to a video of the incident. A resident called uh, because there were several minors attend unattended at the pool and several non-residents at the pool in violation of the apartment complex's policies. That's according to apartment manager Brooke Hamilton. <clears throat> Rivas had an agreement with the complex to be a courtesy officer when called upon. Now the apartment, however, didn't give Rivas authority to get physical with people at the complex. But he's a cop, man. He do I don't mess with me. Rivas can be seen in videos punching two people multiple times as others scream for him to stop. A woman in one video can be heard asking who Rivas is and telling officers to arrest him. An officer says that's an officer who works for the Galveston Police Department. 
I've got to figure out what's going on. In other words, that's a blue brother. I'm not doing that. The woman says, you need to put that man in handcuffs right now. The officer says, I've got to figure out what's going on first. Because that's a brother in blue. That man needs to be put in handcuffs right now, blah, blah, blah. They go back and forth. <clears throat> the officer says, we're not putting anybody else in handcuffs right now. And she says, this man just attacked my children as an officer. Now the video, which I'll try to find, shows the woman approaching her handcuffed son before two officers stop her. The complex ended its courtesy officer agreements and hired a private company to provide security, says Brooke Hamilton. That switch became official Thursday. It was already in the works when the fight happened. Yeah, we believe that, Brooke. Williams, whose son was injured in the fight, said she worries other officers won't hesitate to do similar things if authorities don't punish Revis. They're not going to do it anyway. If they had to go through the process like everyone else, it wouldn't happen so much, said Williams. She says it wouldn't take this long to send a civilian to jail. You're right. If it wasn't a cop, he'd be in jail right now. The police department has placed Revis on administrative leave. <laughs> pending an investigation. <clears throat> Galveston Police Chief Doug Bali did not respond to a request for comment by press time. He's not going to respond. No, he's not. But here's another one where a cop comes in like Wyatt Earp, you know, hey man, y'all need to get the F out because this is my place. I'm a cop and I'm going to take action. You don't obey kind of a thing. You know what I mean? I mean, it just, I don't know. I wasn't there, but I get the feeling by what's going on here <clears throat> that this is one of those cops that you do what I say, oh, I'm going to do some ass kicking. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I want to know what you all think.